it's really loose sand right here. So you have to back all the way up or drive through it. Let's see what Greg does. That's pretty good. It tastes like, I'm not really sure. We just got to Playa Tecolote. Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Over the last six months, Kevin and I have traveled from the east coast to the west, visiting the warm sunny coastlines to the snow-covered mountains. Now it's time for a new adventure. Join us as we head south to Mexico to explore Baja, California. Subscribe and we'll see you every Tuesday. Guys, got a red drone. we're here in La Ventana on our way to La Paz. We have a drone malfunction while trying to see the rays. It is disconnected. You just gotta. There you go. La latest firmware installed? Never in that room. <laughs> it's like every other day when new firmware. It's really loose sand right here. So you have to back all the way up or drive through it. Let's see what Greg does. All right, they made it. I don't know if we're gonna do that. Yeah, no. I mean, we're going that direction, so why would we? Yeah, we could just back up and get right out. They're going snorkeling and spearfishing again. I got stung by jellyfishes yesterday. I got stung by a jellyfish. Ooh. Right across the face. Oh. And then my ear is still tingly. And my hand is all swollen or rashed up. My fingers are rashed up. My foot is rashed up. Your forehead. And my forehead right here, so. It's not a rash. It's more of like these little welt looking bug bites um, that he says are itchy. So. Very itchy, so. Neither of us really want to take that chance. Yeah, we're not a fan. So we're going to go to La Paz, check that city out. That's where we made our upgrades on our van. But we didn't really get a chance to explore the town at all. Just one upgrade. Just the water. Just the water upgrade. But we're going to go check it out, and then we're going to meet at another beach north of uh, La Paz. So before we get into La Paz, we need to make a pit stop because our water is almost empty. Off to La Paz? That wasn't too bad. Did you think it was going to be? I mean, we got in just fine. Yeah. Well, turning around, I was a little nervous about. Luckily, there's no cars anymore, so better. But yeah, off to La Paz. Here we go. These people have been camped out since we got here. And there's no plan for them leaving, I don't think. So, coming up, there's a really sketchy part that goes around a tight bend, and it's definitely a little rough. So hopefully we have no trouble going up. And hopefully no cars coming down as we're going up. We'll be there in a minute. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez, he's getting there. All right, this is the one right here. Hopefully we'll be all right. I'm gonna have to try and punch it a little bit. Here we go. footage. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bumpy. A little bumpy? A little shaky? Just a little. <laughs> well it should be relatively smooth now. Maybe a little washboard but we'll be we'll be good now. We are currently looking for water. I don't really see any. I'm not sure how lucky we are gonna get with this.
little under half already. We were pretty much on E. So Kevin's probably really happy about this hose because that would have meant five or six jugs. Also, while Kevin was starting to get the water, I got out some extra pesos for us to go into town. We'll probably fill up on some gas, water, maybe do a little bit of food shopping because we're pretty much out. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll stop at a cute little eatery over there. Mm -hmm. So we are full and now we are just filling the extra jug. That way we have a few more days, probably just a day in reality, but we won't have to get water. And by a day, I mean we go maybe three to four days um, on one water fill up. So not too bad, but not great. Perfecto, gracias. All right, so to La Paz. Do something kind of crazy. <laughs> or should I say they found us? They got the van cleaned. I mean, look how white she is. Looking good. Does look good. Taylor wants to get our van cleaned again. We already did it once in San Jose about, what, a week ago? No, we got it cleaned before we left. Did we? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Because I bought the really expensive milk. I don't think so. It was when we left the airport and we stopped there. All right, so it was still... A week. Yeah, exactly a week. Whatever. Well, I'm, I'm curious if we could find some Tres Leche. Mm -hmm. He's been on the hunt. Yeah, that'll be good. Now we might have to go to, back to La Ribera one day. This is Taylor's find. We're usually going where Greg and Jess take us, <laughs> but I guess they are uh, rubbing, um, off you. rubbing off on you. Yeah, um, going to the locals. What is that called? One more time. This. Yeah. Uh, papas relleno, which is stuffed potato. Basically. Okay. We stuck with the Cameron tacos. Didn't really venture too far. We never do. Nope. Thus the French fries. Thus, Greg and Jess leading okay. the leading the way. Mac and cheese corn. Mmm. Corn mac and cheese. You can kind of see that. Yeah. So do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Corn mac and cheese. Gracias. Adios. Hasta luego. I think we need to thank Greg again because we would not have tried this if it wasn't for you guys. So Definitely. I think that's one, the cucumber thing. The cucumber thing is two. Tres leche. Tres leche is three. There's one more. The potato thing with the horn. Oh yeah, that lady. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. That's four. Did you like tacos, May? Tacos, oh, May was good. Yeah, yeah, five. Five. Yeah, like we would never try really street vendor. That stuff. lady with the horn, we would have been like, what is she trying to sell anybody? <laughs> I feel like there's one more. I mean, there probably was. I don't know. But we tried four unique foods <laughs> local to Baja or Mexico that we would not have tried otherwise, so thank you. There's a guy in California that sells this in the Walmart parking lot, but he it's $5 for this ice cream. Oh, the ice cream we probably wouldn't have went to. Oh, we wouldn't have <laughs> never found that place. And, <laughs> and the other one in Cabo with the popsicles. We just probably wouldn't go oh, in yeah. there. Yeah. So thanks. But Six. now you will. Oh yeah. <laughs> now for we're sure. going back for sure. <laughs> for sure. Well, we're about to right now. Now you have a problem. Gracias. Hey Tao. Yes, dear. What do you think of La Paz? I like it. Very, uh, lots of cute eateries along the water. And the water with the palm trees is just so pretty and perfect. It is very nice. We are currently heading to our camp spot tonight at Playa Tecolote, and we are just driving through the rest of La Paz. I like it here. It's very cute. Greg, back into the woods. Because <laughs> we're taking a U-turn. <laughs> we just got to Playa Tecolote. It's a little bit windier than we would like, but we met up with Live for Adventure, Brittany and Drew from South Carolina and California, I think. So we got a three-way sleeping arrangement tonight, and then hopefully we all get to hang out tomorrow morning, which is going to be cool. But it's also not, it's always nice to meet new folks in the van life community. Man, this wind is brutal. But we're probably just gonna hang out for the rest of the night, maybe crack a couple beers open, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. My mind's like a record spin and you on repeat. I got life in my bones and some white in my teeth. Tonight I'll make a girl like you love a guy like me. Summertime moon on a rooftop tonight I always see you cause you take all the light Well honey I can't dance But I'll swing you like your feet can fly I can and I will yeah. Good morning guys, we just woke up to the sound of the waves and the birds, but not just any bird. We got woken up by a swarm of pelicans. Check this out. I've never seen so many pelicans in my life. It's pretty crazy that they they swim real fast and they just like stick their head down as an anchor and like park themselves in the water. It's pretty nuts. It's kind of like they're working out and they're get, doing their laps. They just fly from one hundred yard distance to the next. I don't know. It looks like they're in a high school sports practice just doing suicide laps. It's not making any sense to me. See, there's no cue cards and there's nothing cinematic. Just two shaky hands and a heart full of panic. Cause you want it more than anything you ever wanted before. You just do what it takes. There's no time.
Just went for a little run today, this morning. It's a brisk morning, a little windy, but feels good. It's not too hot, perfect for running. The water is nice and calm, but these pelicans, I guess they're feeding, I don't know, but it's pretty aggressive. Here's the sun on a cloud in the sky today. All right, let's get back to the run here. Oof. Greg out into the wild. All right, well now that I am done my morning computer work, I am gonna start making us a little bit of breakfast. We're gonna have a real changer in here. We're gonna have some eggs on a roll. <laughs> it's gonna be wild. For breakfast, we have one of three things. Eggs, oatmeal, or an acai bowl. Taylor is one of two things. Now, sometimes I have a protein shake. We're gonna try out some Spanish rolls or some Mexican rolls. They look pretty good. And they were only that was a big bag. Seventy five cents for that. Yeah. In the states, it would be what seventy five cents a roll. Yeah. Wow. Are you sure? It says sixteen. Back to the norm. Just Taylor in the kitchen. While Kevin edits. I mean, let's I mean, let's clarify that. I, I don't just it sit here. Way. I'm just saying, if you want a good meal, we don't really want Kevin in the kitchen. Well, I just want to clarify for all the haters out there who think I don't do anything. <laughs> True, Kevin is just sitting around eating bonbons 24 <laughs> seven. Breakfast is served. All right, it's like a cheese pepper omelet sandwich. Pretty much. Oh, it's nice having something on a roll. But... And he likes the, the Mexican bread. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's delicious. Perfect. Mine has some tomatoes on it. All right, it's time for us to separate from Drifter Journey, Greg and Jess. It is a sad, sad day. And yeah. unfortunately, Greg is spear fishing right now. <laughs> So he did catch one. Hopefully he gets more for the gang. Yeah. And you guys will feast tonight. Hopefully. Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> but it's time for us to head back to the Pacific and maybe catch some waves and then we gotta work our way down to Cabo. Yeah. So it's been fun. It's, it's been real. Maybe we'll catch you again. Absolutely. Safe travels. Greg, Jess, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the time that we had together. It was a blast. We're gonna miss you guys. Definitely time well spent. I mean, Baja would not have been the same without you guys. So yeah. we really, really enjoyed our time. And it's sad to leave you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, hopefully we didn't annoy you guys too much. But uh, you know, you did say that uh, <laughs> we meet your traveling criteria. So I'm glad we were able to uh, have fun with each other and just, yeah, big thanks again. Drew and Brittany, sorry we couldn't spend more time together, but so we- So glad we could have met up though. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna be still chasing the waves as everyone else heads north, but uh, maybe we'll see you guys in the future as you guys head to South Carolina. So we'll be in touch as well. Now we are off to finish exploring La Paz before we head back to La Pastora, which I think is ending up being our favorite surf spot, or Kev's favorite surf spot, my favorite tanning spot, for a few days before we head south again to Cabo. These clear blue waters of Playa Ten. Tecolote are very nice, but there's no waves and there's kind of a lot of flies too, so that's another reason we are leaving. But the views this morning when we woke up were probably some of the best. back in the town of La Paz. I need to get new flip-flops, so we're gonna go to the local Oxo and get one for like five bucks, maybe seven bucks actually. Then we're gonna go explore a little bit more. 
maybe uh, I don't know we're just gonna wander around we got some tacos ice cream the, the corn thing tamale With corn, tamale. Yeah, no, something with an E. I don't remember. Some corn thing, which is pretty good, but we'll see what else we can find today. All right, so I just got these flip-flops from the OXO for less than, what? Two, two and a half no, dollars? Five. Two dollars and 50 cents. Oh yeah. Okay. Not, bad Not a bad find. So we're walking in La Paz right now looking for Tacos de Estadio. Tacos El Estadio. Tacos El Estadio, excuse me. So hopefully we can get them. Apparently they sell out pretty the early corner. during the day. It's the 11 o'clock right now. Apparently they close as soon as they run out of food for the day and it's popular for locals and tourists. So either they never open today or we're already too late. It opens at 8 a.m. and it's what, 11.30? Something like that, 12 o'clock right now, but bummer. I've been on the road, out here with the squad. Everybody trying to go, yeah, the party jumping off. And we putting on a show, trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time, like, na 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 Feeling like I'm on the highway. Cause everything been going my way. And now they looking at me sideways. I'm like, na 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 Gracias. I think I said it wrong. I think you did too. Mm, yeah. So good. It's the best. I highly recommend these. Just frozen kiwi. So anywhere you go, all across the coast, we do it every time. Like finished exploring a little bit more of La Paz that we wanted to see and now we are headed back to La Pastora uh, but before we head there we are making a pit stop at AutoZone just to try to pick up a little more DEF just in case. Yep, DEF is hard to come by down here so may as well try and grab a gallon because they don't sell it in two and a half gallons like they do in the states so when i filled up last time i only was able to put two gallons in so i feel like I, there's enough room for one more gallon they don't have any what nope there's another one in la paz and there's an auto zone in los cabos so we can check down there if they got more in stock but i think we'll be all right We've put it in two gallons and usually you just put in two and a half so should be able to make it back to the states <laughs> I definitely would want to try and get them when we come back up to La Paz next time did we already pass the other one in La Paz yeah I picked the furthest one which wasn't really smart of me but it's okay she said we could order it but I'm like yeah that's too difficult so we'll check in Los Cabos on Friday maybe yeah, sounds and good. And then we'll go from there. River run through the trees. Carve the path that you please. Where do your water? All right, guys. So that wraps up La Paz and Playa Tangalote. Tangalote. We're on our way to. We just arrived in Todos Santos right now, so if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing if you want to check out the town of Todos Santos and see La Pastora where we'll hopefully get some surfing tomorrow. Again, which you've already seen. We've been here a little bit, but yeah. I think it might be one of our favorite spots other than monuments. Yeah, probably. So, all right, well, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.